Um, when talking about safety here in Russia, I can say that I can. Um, I feel 100% safe always. And you honestly not believe me when I tell you that sometimes I walk um, in the middle of the forest at 12 a.m. because that is how safe I feel here in Russia. As a black man, uh, I feel very, very safe. I go to any place, many places. I travel down many city, uh, city in Russia. I feel very, very safe. No problem. Russia, a country with a complex history of racial dynamics, has been home to a significant population of black people, including those of African descent and African Americans who have migrated to the country for various reasons. I'm from the United States of America. I'm here in Krasnodar, Russia playing for local motif, Kuban, basketballist, as they say. This video delves into the complexities of being black in Russia, exploring the historical context, personal experiences, and the challenges faced by black people living in the country. Russia's history with black people dates back to the 18th century when African slaves were brought to the country. However, unlike many Western nations, Russia did not participate in the transatlantic slave trade. Instead, many Africans arrived in Russia as free people or were freed from slavery. During the Soviet era, the country actively courted African students and intellectuals, offering them scholarships and opportunities to study and work in Russia. This led to a significant influx of black people, including African Americans, who were attracted to the Soviet Union's promise of racial equality and social justice. Despite the historical context, personal experiences of black people in Russia are varied and complex. Some report feeling safer in Russia than in their home countries in Africa. I think I feel safer here. I feel safer here, here. than back home in Africa. Yes, yes. <laughs> because example, when I went back home, I went for like uh, a little bit of holiday over there back home. And when I went, my people were like, you have to be very careful now. They are like armed robbers, they attack people, they do this, like a whole lot of things. I'm like, what? Let's hear more about how safe black people feel in Russia. In all my six years, I've never been attacked anyhow, racially or anyhow, so I feel safe. The stereotype is that Russia is, you know, that kind of a country. Russia is so safe. I always say to people, sometimes I feel safer in Russia than America, and that's just because of these strict laws that they have with homeless people, um, drunk heads, like just people on the street in general. As you guys know, I'm from Los Angeles and in Los Angeles there's a lot of homeless people and I wouldn't even walk home by myself after work because of the amount of homeless people and druggies on the street that have tried to talk to me or grab me or just because I'm smaller I wouldn't do that. But in Russia, I feel so safe. I walk home from the gym, I walk home from pretty much anywhere, the grocery store, by myself without Fedor, and I'm fine, I'm safe. The stigma around what Russia is, everybody is always saying Russia is this, Russia is that. Well, coming here, man, it's safe, and safety matters to me the most, so you can walk by any time. You are free, nobody is stopping you, even the police, they don't harass, nothing like that. I would have said I'm a foreigner, but I feel like I'm already Russian, all right? And I feel really safe. This is my home. I got family here, my wife is Russian, you know, I got kids, I have two kids here. I feel home, they're in school. I'm doing almost everything an average Russian would do, and even more. I'm running my business here, my whole investment, my properties, everything is here, right? And I feel home. Think about it, there's a war going on, there's a lot of instability, economic downfall, and stuff's going on, but I'm still here. I feel safe. Since I came here, like, no one has ever tried to harass me in such a way. I've been really safe, like, even when moving around at night, you can walk freely. Like, no one will try to harass you or anything, or try to grab you or whatever. <laughs> you are really safe. So, coming here... There's police everywhere. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you feel very, very yeah. safe. Unless you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, yeah, nothing bad should happen to you. I feel safe because Russia is a very safe place. No talks, no like, no like someone checkmating you, asking you who you are, like other countries where you are afraid of going to a public place to get something or going out because of you who may be attacked by citizens. Russia is not a place someone will wear a cop carry 
they go and start and start shooting crowd on the on the way because everybody respects his or herself. For me, I feel very very safe. I can go out by 3 a.m., 4 a.m. at night, and I've never been attacked by anybody. Like yesterday, I came back home around 2 o'clock, and nothing happened to me. I order a taxi, come back home. You can even trek, go to the magazine at night, and you pretty much feel very, very safe. The only problem I would say is just about the weather. You know, apart from that, Russia is good. About the stereotype, you know, it's uh, what the mainstream media been feeding us about them, you know. So when I came here, it's uh, like opposite of what I've heard about them. I feel very sexy, like I can walk, I don't know, at 1, 2 a.m. And uh, so far, nothing um, hasn't happened to me. They cite the presence of cameras and police as contributing to their sense of security. Like the cameras everywhere and the police here and there, like that makes me feel so safe. Some individuals, on the other hand, have shared experiences of facing discrimination and racism. There are some of them that like maybe don't like the blacks, but uh, it's not very rampant. They racist in Russia? Yes, they are. <laughs> we have Russians, we have racists in Russia. I met an American that was like 15 years ago, right? An American who told me we had some business uh, here and he said, you know what? The racism in Russia is quite primitive, where it's about, oh, you're black, <laughs> you know? If you're looking, I mean, from uh, from what we, where we are now, you wouldn't call Russia a racist country because this is a lady uh, going to school in Russia. And um, also there have been some improvement in the sense of racism. That is important, guys. One of the biggest improvements that has happened is that the Russian system has tried to, tried to uh, uh, bring in a lot of Africans. There are a lot of Africans now in Russia. And this has something to do since 2014. And the, the, the sanctions and Russia understood, OK, you know what? We have to bring out these guys. We need the African continent. And uh, I think today, in today's Russia, the Africans have more advantage than you, Americans. In today's Russia, I think the race is, uh, there are many ways in which you can see some discrimination and racism. It's like you were, you, there are certain jobs in which you will not have in Russia if you are a black guy. Huh, really? uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, there have been a lot of progress in the past. In Russia, there have been a lot of progress in terms of giving. In now, in Russia, you can go see blacks walking at the face of like a restaurant, like you know, servers or securities. I've seen that a lot of late, which are students uh, working in uh, in, the in the in the society, right? But you will not see a black guy working uh, in a, in a bank or in an organization in a minimal position you know in a very small position in an intro, intro position I'll put it this way yeah but I think in terms of one-to-one uh, -one racism there is also uh, that conception that because you are black you cannot be as smart as I am mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say that I don't have the issue I had a friend like we had this chat a friend uh, it's a Russian lady who told me that the boss really believes that um, hmm. because you're black you cannot be smarter than the white guy so I don't know what racism means to you guys, but uh, if it's discrimination or it's because of race, I don't know. But I can tell you that uh, there are some casual challenges in, in terms of uh, how um, you can excel being a black in Russia. So it's, uh, it's quite tough. Racism and discrimination against black people in Russia are not uncommon. A BBC report highlighted the story of Roy Bonga a Congolese student whom a taxi driver refused service due to his race. The incident sparked widespread outrage and the taxi company eventually apologized and fired the driver. However, such incidents are not isolated and many black people in Russia report experiencing casual racism, including being stared at or denied service. Literally, Russians stare so hard. It's not even Russia. When I went to Italy, they stared. When I went everywhere. When they're staring at me, they're staring so hard where they'll run into something. They're staring so hard where grandmas break their neck staring like, oh my God, like who is that? And I actually recorded a grandma staring at me so hard that she almost fell over and that's in one of our vlogs. But guys, it's it hasn't gotten better. Like at first, in 2016 when I came here, I was like, what the F is wrong with people? Like, do I have something on my face? Did I not like wax my stash? Like, what's going on? 
but fedora of course is always reassuring and like they're staring at you because you're beautiful they're staring at you because they've never seen anything like you curly hair brown girl yada yada etc so even though the stares are freaking annoying russian people most russian people that address me are nice um usually i get like a strange one or a drunk head once a year, but it hasn't happened since we've been here since May. The experience of being black in Russia is complex and multifaceted. While some individuals report feeling safe and experiencing a sense of equality, others face less discrimination. Russia's historical interaction with black people reflects a blend of curiosity, occasional ignorance, and a striving for equality. I have experienced ignorance in Russia where um, people only some it's usually when they're drunk they get a little cocky and they want to kind of get in my face and that was in Altai Krai. So they're kind of ignorant to African people. Yeah they're definitely ignorant. So <laughs> Russia has less experience with Africans. That is the bitter truth. As Russia continues to navigate its cultural identity and global position it is crucial to recognize and engage with the positive experiences and contributions of black individuals residing there. We hope you found the information we shared enlightening and thought-provoking. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so please share them with us in the comments section below. And hey, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you again in our next video.